Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Beyond G. And we are about a week out before our next cruise. And I am doing an episode of what I pack in my beach bag. So when I'm cruising, you know, we don't want to carry much when we're cruising and getting off the boat at the different ports. But I have to specifically pack my beach bag. I did pick up a new beach bag this year. It was $5 from Five and Below. Nice little woven handle here. $5 from Five and Below. I'll show you all the inside of it. Just a nice, bright, simple orange. Kind of a mesh material. Lightweight, easy to carry. Now this was $5. Again, for Five and Below. So I like to pick up these little cheap but durable beach bags so that if they get damaged, it's not a problem. Um, it does have a zipper top to it. Most beach bags do not. But one of the bonuses was that this actually had the zipper top to keep my items kind of secure. But I just wanted to show you all what I carry in my beach bag once I'm off the cruise ship and on the port. First up, some sunglasses. Don't leave home without them. Take you a couple pair of sunglasses. Me, I'm gonna pack a pair for every day of the cruise ship. Um, get some inexpensive sunglasses. I know most of us like to be out with the name brand glasses on styling and profiling. You wanna make sure you're getting um, some nice items, but also items that you can afford to lose if they become damaged or stolen or anything of that nature. So we wanna look good, but we don't wanna spend a lot of our coins on items that could potentially come up missing or become damaged. So grab you a couple pair of nice sunglasses to last you. The important part of the sunglasses is that you wanna make sure that they are UV safe. These are, um, these were picked up at Ross, less than $9. They have sunglasses from $3.99 to $9.99 at Ross. Also at Five Below, I was pleasantly shocked to see that they had sunglasses. They were very, very cute. I mean, plastic, of course, but UV protection is all you need. And if they're cute on your face, it will work for you. So definitely you wanna include your sunglasses in your beach bag. You also wanna make sure that you're keeping up with your passports. Um, you need that to get on and off of the ship, as well as your ID. I'm gonna travel with some bug spray wherever I go. This is the cutters. Just pick up some that's gonna work because you don't know what kind of bugs you'll be dealing with on those islands and or beaches when you get off the cruise ship. So this is very, very important to have. You also wanna make sure you bring some hand sanitizer. You wanna make sure you bring the little pocket hand sanitizer. You don't wanna load your beach bag down, but you wanna make sure you have the supplies that you need to be safe. Get you a Purell or a Germex brand. Those are what I recommend. But this was 97 cent and I picked that up just in case I don't find any before I leave. Some sunscreen. Now you can get the sunscreen that works best for you. I wear this every day. This is the Cetaphil brand and it has SPF 50 plus. Um, it works just fine. It doesn't leave me all ashy or discolored. Make sure you have sunscreen, protect yourself. For those of you who are married, I do not leave home without this. This is a plastic rubbery band. So I'll be leaving this at home and replacing it with this band. Now you can do anything in this. A lot of athletes wear this rubber band. You can find these at Walmart. I've seen them at Meijer. Uh, maybe Rule 21, we can order them through Amazon. They're like a five pack, but they're very inexpensive. And this ring works wonders. You don't have to worry about losing it. You don't have to worry about it being uncomfortable. I always leave my wedding ring at home and I take this because I also don't want to become a target and I don't want to lose my jewelry. So next up is the waterproof foam protector on a lanyard. This is the waterproof foam protector on a lanyard. As you can see, it comes with a long neck lanyard so that your phone can hang right in front of you it also has the detachable hooks here and let me turn it around for you 
so you can walk around hands-free with your phone readily available it has a little velcro flap and then it unrolls and then there's a ziploc seal right here and as you can see I want to take my phone drop my phone this is an Apple phone it fits most phones it's pretty long okay so here is my phone And I'm going to seal. So I seal the top. Then I'm going to roll. So it rolls like three or four times. And then I'm going to take this flap and Velcro it. Just like that. So it has a Velcro right here. Velcro strip. And then another one here. And I'm going to seal it just like that. And here is my phone in the pouch. It also has... And I haven't used it before. But it also has a place in here where you can put your credit cards. There's a little pouch in here for your cards. And let me show you all what it looks like. When I'm standing... So well, there it is. That way if it rains, if you're in the water, if this is all you bring, you're good to go. I also want to pack a poncho. Now, you also want to pack a poncho. Now this poncho is very cheap. Dollar store. I got it for a dollar before it turns to $1.25 at deals. Most times, especially in Mexico, when you're getting off at the port, it is pouring down raining. I mean, pouring down raining. And most of the islands, it rains and it stops and it rains and the sun comes out. It's, it's always wet somewhere or sometime. These are reusable. If you're walking from the ship to the port, to the beach, if you're on an excursion, you have the poncho to keep you dry. It's easy, it's lightweight, wrap it back up, seal it back up. But that's good and lightweight to have in your beach bag. Also some water shoes. If you're not wearing the water shoes, then you need some flip flops or something to throw in your bag. But these are rubber at the bottom. They're flexible, they're durable, they're breathable. These even have the Velcro situation going on. So this is a nice option. You can choose to wear these on the island or if you're gonna do some more adventurous things, you may want to bring um, some gym shoes or sneakers that have already been broken in. You don't want to wear any new sneakers when you're going on an excursion. You want to know that your feet are going to be comfortable, secure, and safe in those shoes. But if you're just going to the beach or doing water sports, then the water shoes are just fine and comfortable or some flip-flops. So that is what I am packing in my beach bag. I know it sounds like a lot, but they're really all needed. They're really lightweight items. And there's plenty of room to fit those items into my beach bag. I'm not going to be bringing my own personal beach towel, but I'll be borrowing one from the cruise ship, which you can do. But you have to be careful with that. You don't want to leave those behind because they will make you pay for those as well. But since they're offering free temporary towels to rent, that's what we'll be doing. You may also throw in some beach clips. Um, those will keep your towel secure if you are on a beach resort. If it is a windy day, you want to bring some towel clips. These will go simply on the back of each side of the chair, allowing your towel to stay in place. You can do the towel clips or the towel bands. And all of these items are available at Amazon, online, or at Five Below. But that is all I have for you. I'm so excited for this cruise. I cannot wait to bring you more videos. Um, please stay tuned. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe and like button. We would appreciate it. We would love to have you a part of our GT family. Um, stay tuned for the next video where we will be having a pack with me, a carry on the airplane bag video coming up next. So until next time, be safe and be blessed. See you all later.